Mr. Sands. So nice to meet you. I am Mr. Swanson's assistant. If Mr. Swanson was having a party, this certainly could have waited. Business before pleasure. Yes, I'm hoping to steal a couple of days of Mardi Gras. Some champagne, perhaps. That would be very nice. Uh, may I relieve you of that? Oh, sure, why not? Here you go. This is worth celebrating. Fix some champagne for a job well done. Thank you, Mr. Sands. You're welcome. Two festive days in Rio. I'll drink to that. What is this? Mm. Excellent. Nice to be able to afford the best. No need to be unhospitable. Where is it? You know, I never thought I'd ever see that much money. I didn't actually count it, but by the pound, there must be a few million. I have no time to play games. Where is the money? What's the big rush? I have to discuss my new partnership with Mr. Swanson. You poor fool. There is no Mr. Swanson. Your boss used you as an unwitting dupe to courier the money down to us that he was embezzling from his company, Maclow Industries. You have 20 seconds to live. I'll give it back. Just help me. Mr. Fick, we would appear to have made a tactical error. Find that money. It can't be too difficult. Where could he have hidden it? Come on. Terry's on the phone for you, Colton. Didn't you tell her I had three days left on the picture? Well, yeah, but you know Terry. Any reasonable excuse is quickly rejected. Yeah. Hey, hey, Colton. Yeah, uh, tell her I'll be right there. Okay. I got the watch ready. Hey, new toy, huh? Yeah. Careful how you handle it now. This button will arm it, and this one will set it off. We can't make all these big spy pictures without all the toys, and you got to know how to use them. Hmm. You mean if somebody asks me the time of day, don't give it to them? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and be very careful with this lighter. It's really a flamethrower. Cute. Cole, Terry says to get a move on. It's costing her four bucks a minute. All right. Thanks, Al. OK. Thanks, Terry. Hey, I know you missed me, but a postcard sure could have saved you a bundle. Hello, Cole. How are you? Well, considering I just went through a window, I had a wreck yesterday, two fights, three shootouts. Uh... I'd love to hear your resume, but... Okay, who'd you misplace this time? Well, normally I wouldn't dream of interfering with your career, but where you are now is exactly where she's heading. But who is she? Oh, a little lady who helped her boss run down south with five million dollars. Five million? She came to Rio? Well, first her boss went down, and then she followed him down south. His name is, uh, Sands, James Sands. You find him, you'll find her. You know Brazil doesn't honor extradition. Are you willing to spring for private transportation? I'm on the hook for 50000 I suppose it's a worthwhile investment. Well, I'll try to keep it under fifty. You're kidding, aren't you? Well, we still got a couple of days to work on this picture. Then the extra money will probably come in handy. Sounds like you got a deal. What's the girl's name? Ah, her name is Marnie Greer. She is 28, blonde, attractive. I guarantee you'll like her. Yeah, I've heard that before. What about Sands? Oh, he's not my problem. She was the one that I bailed out. You might try the Hotel Esplanade. That's where he is or was staying. All right. Anything I can bring you back from Rio? I mean, besides from this Miss Greer. Oh, well, if you see any good-looking gauchos, you might throw one on the plane. Mine's wearing out. Well, maybe you should oil them more often. <laughs> Oh, 
we can't exactly slap the cuffs on and drag her around with us. I just want to know where to find her. We get ready to leave. Hi, ladies. Ooh, hey. Excuse me. Si, sí, senores. How may I help you? Uh, do you have a Marnie Greer registered here? Yes, she is. Uh, how about a James Sands? Sands? Ah, yes, Senor Sands is check out. You mean they weren't together? You will excuse me, please, senores, but of course, I am not at liberty to say. Oh, <clears throat> but of course. Maybe this will uh, free up your liberty. They were not together. Uh, were they in touch? Were they... It seems that Senorita Greer is most anxious to be, as you say, in touch. Uh, I didn't catch the room number. You got any caseros? You will excuse me for a moment, senores. That's it? This is the assistant manager. There are two men asking after Sanz and the senorita. America. No, no, they do not know her. Si bueno. Uh, the room number. Room 820. You've been swell. Obrigado. Uh, Obrian, out. Then the end up. Look, uh, kid, let me take this one alone. I don't want to crowd the lady. Just want to make contact, you understand? Okay, that's fine. And I'll see if I can make contact uh, by the pool. Excuse me, ladies. Marnie Greer? Yes. I'm a friend of Jim Sands. Really? Won't you come in, Mr. Uh, uh, Seavers. Colt Seavers. Please, sit down. Thank you. Forgive my appearance, but I just got out of the bath. Well, that's, uh, that's okay. That's okay. James never mentioned you. Now, you see, I'm a pilot. Uh, a private pilot. Uh, uh, you know, you're not exactly what I was expecting, either. <laughs> Are you pleased or disappointed? Oh, no, nothing like that. It's just that uh, James said that you were a blonde, and uh, it looks like a little... Brunette uh, sneaking out from under the towel there. <laughs> Colt, you've been peeking. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you uh, haven't answered my question. Oh, I find you very pleasing. I usually get a little more enthusiasm. Oh, well, I'm a slow starter. But I bet you can go the distance. I uh, think I'll make another change. Oh, hey, don't be uncomfortable on my account. You're really doing that secret agent movie? My partner's done the last five. Oh, I bet you're 008. Well, actually, we're both stuntmen. Really? Cold. Ah. Would you join me? Uh, sure. Look, I just dropped by to say hello. I was in the neighborhood. Cold, please. Wouldn't you know it, I left my flashlight mother suit. Are you in there? Hey, lady, are you still there? There you are. Don't you like me anymore? You're a dead man. <laughs> Sorry, I think I got the wrong room. You should see this guy take a punch, or a fall, or a kick. I mean, you'd think the guy was getting killed. And he's constantly perfecting his craft. Like this morning, he took a dive right through a window. But it's not the kind of thing you do without a lot of practice.
you doing, Cole? You could have been killed. I tried to commit suicide and missed a shallow end. Cold, if she wasn't Marty Greer, who was she? I don't know, but she had all the right answers. Kid, be careful. The Jolly Green Giant will stomp your beanstalk. Well, what have we here? Bono dia, senor. Ah, you are the flying Wallander. Oh, oh, I can explain that. Inspector Alessandro Porto, Rio de Janeiro Police. You will please to come with me. Well, wait a minute. I can vouch for this man. Good. You may come, too. You are in grave difficulty. Look, I'll pay my share of the damages, but I think Godzilla owes the bigger half. I refer to Senor Sands. You know where Sands is? He's downstairs. In my freezer. Dead? I hope so. You can't hang that on me. Why not? Why does a stuntman ask after him? Uh, you see, I, I have a little sideliner. I'm a bounty hunter. I know you don't honor extradition down here, but... We also do not honor kidnapping. As a matter of fact, in Brazil, kidnapping is a capital offense. A capital offense? Was well, Senor Sanz your bounty? No, no. Oh, no, I'm, I'm after a girl named Marnie Greer. Uh, she and Sands pulled a little number back home, but uh, I wouldn't let uh, anything like that complicate my life. And my only complication is uh, the man in my freezer. Well, I'm sure a few well-placed phone calls could clear that right up. Senor, the only thing that would clear this up for me is another suspect. And until you or I find such a person, you are he. How we know? Wait! Nobody told me it was a movie prop. I know. I was trying to be polite. I know. I always try to help. I know. We could die in here and nobody would even know. I know. Is that all you're gonna say? No, there's one other thing. You're gonna tell me that if we ever get out of here, you're gonna kill me. You know it. All right, gentlemen. Are you willing to cooperate? Yes. What do you want us to do? I want you to meet someone. Not an executioner, I hope. No. As a matter of fact, we've located someone far more attractive. Someone you have an interest in. We have just picked up this, uh, Marnie Greer. Senor Sivas, Senor Munson. Senorita Greer. This gentleman tells me that you are a fugitive from uh, American justice. I didn't steal anything. That's why I'm in Rio. Mr. Sands and I went out a couple of times, but believe me, that's all. It is assumed that Senor Sands was transporting a great deal of money to the Countess Viti, a rather vile woman who traffics in everything sordid. And one of our specialties is, uh, how would you say, uh, clean the money? Uh, laundering. See, si. But something was not right with our business with Sands. Wouldn't you say, Senor Sivas? Uh, to tell you the truth, I, I got no interest in the money. It's not our problem. I have made it your problem. Look, I, I don't even want the girl. All I want to do is finish my movie and be able to say uh, adios, amigos, you know? Hold up your heart, Senor. You forget the small matter of murder. You know I had nothing to do with that. I know what I want to know. I want the Countess. And you will help me. Kidding. No. You could convince her that you have the money. Perhaps give the impression of a man with newfound wealth. Uh, yeah, when she kills me to get it, you'll get her. My plan, exactly. Yeah, well, it's not my plan. Senor Sivas. Then you refuse to cooperate with me? The Brazilian police? for two months. Relax, Countess. Everything's smooth here. How's my money? I do not have it. What? What are you talking about? Your courier decided to go into business for himself. Sands? He never even knew what was in the bag. You underestimated his curiosity. 
What did he tell you? He didn't have much time to talk. Do you know your secretary is here? Marnie? I, I don't understand. Perhaps you did not like taking the blame. Or perhaps she and Sands had an arrangement after all. Look, I'm coming down there. You are to stay right there. I have my way of taking care of these little inconveniences, and I will make the next call. Miss Wright? Yes, Mr. Macklow? I've decided to close the Swanson deal myself. Book me on a flight to Rio. Looking back on it, you know, that proposition didn't seem so bad after all. Kid, that Contessa and her ghoul friend are killers. They threw me out of an eight-story window. A minor misunderstanding. Especially considering that we might have to spend the rest of our lives in a place like this. Nobody even knows we're here. Meaning you're willing to take a chance and try to fool a wise old bird like the Contessa? Why not? Kid, she knows every trick in the book. She probably wrote it. I mean, we're in over our heads in her league. She probably taught the mob how to launder money. As a matter of fact, uh, they are some of our best customers. Now then, about that arrangement. No. Yes. I'll do it. I'll, I'll try to convince the Contessa that I found the money. Cole can stay here until I set her up for you. You mean you'll do that for me all by yourself? Well, hey, you're always sticking your neck out for me. Isn't it about time this became a real partnership? All right, Aporto, you got a deal. We both help you under one condition. <laughs> you are in no position to bargain. Oh, yes, we are. You want us to risk our lives to help you repay an old debt. We want what we came after. The girl. That's it. You release her to us in our custody. We deliver the Contessa. You let us take Marnie Greer out of Brazil, no questions asked. That could be arranged. Unofficially, of course. However, I suggest that we safely tuck her away in one of our jails, where she wouldn't get in your way until your half of the bargain is uh, completed. Not in these jails, you won't. If the guards don't get her, the inmates and rats will. It's very charitable for a bounty hunter. All right. The girl is released in your custody. I trust you know what you're doing. Do you have to drive so fast? Look, I got a big stunt on this road tomorrow. I'm trying to get the field. Well, why do I have to be here? Because I told you, I'm not letting you out of my sight. I'm innocent. You're supposed to help me. Hey, I'm going to help myself. You just hope some of it rubs off. Cold, hi. What's a good word? Murder. You don't mean Marnie Greer. No, but you're close. It's going to be a woman. Colt, what are you talking about? I'm talking about you. Sands is dead, all right, but you're next. Me? What did I do? Well, you told me to snatch and grab a girl in a country with no extradition. Oh, well, so what's the big deal? Everyone knows Rio has no extradition. Oh, you bet. But does everybody know what the authorities do to you down here if you're caught trying to bend that law? Colt, I can't imagine what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you can. You told me you were only working for Big Jack to put you through law school. Now, you know damn well what they do to you if you try to kidnap somebody down here. Um... Refresh my memory. They shoot you. It's a capital crime. Cold. I'm sure they give you a trial. That's it. You can forget about Marnie Greer and your $50,000. Oh, Cole, wait. No, don't hang up, please. Uh, you're right. I should have mentioned the minor inconveniences of Brazilian law. I'm sorry. Minor inconveniences? You call dead a minor inconvenience? Ah, uh, what do you want from me? Name it. You got it. Terry, I'm only going to go through with this because I got no choice and because I want to live to get my hands on you. OK, what's our next step? Our next step is for you to send me some seed money. What kind of money? Don't talk, just listen. I've got to make some phony Contessa think I found the money Sands stole from Maclow Industries. That means you have to send me $20,000 by tonight. 20000 Now, you get it to my hotel before dark, or you can forget about Marnie Greer and worry about me. Colt, that Contessa obviously doesn't fool around if she killed Sands. Yeah, well, neither do the police. You heard what that inspector said. What if we let him think that we're going to help him out, and then we slip away in the middle of the night? Kid, just how do you propose we do that? We could rent a plane with the money that Terry sent. That would be taking money under false pretenses. Right. I like it. Oh, great. That makes me feel a lot better. Terry had no business putting us in the middle of a bunch of international gangsters. Well, that's right. Yeah, we get out of here, we just tell her we couldn't get Miss Greer out of the country. That's it. Yeah, we owe her one. That's right. And the next time Terry tries to put one over on us by telling us it's a simple job, she'll think twice. That's right. California, here we come. 
Ah, Mr. Sievers, I was looking for you. I trust you are making arrangements to convince the Contessa that you have the money. Oh, yeah. I got right on it as soon as I got back. Right, kid? Uh, right. We just got off the phone. We sent for some seed money. Mm -hmm. Just to go along with your charade, uh, I put word out on the street that uh, we are convinced that you have the money. And we're offering a large reward to anyone who can prove it or bring you back with the cash. You did what? Every crook in Brazil is going to be on our case. True. But on the other hand, if you were to approach someone to help you, shall we say, to uh, leave the country, you would have to think twice about uh, trusting them. Well, if we try to leave, someone will put a knife to our throats for the money. If we stay here, somebody will put a knife to our throats for the money. Hmm, but here, I would be able to protect you from them. I, I got one question. And what is that? Who protects us from you? <laughs> you have a wonderful sense of humor. Happy hunting. And good luck with the Contessa. See you for a minute. I've got double O's prop tucks ready to go here. Would you like to see how it's rigged? Yeah, good idea, Al. It'll help me plan my shots. I'm already behind schedule. Well, it's really very simple. If you just hold us up like he's wearing it. Now, for the encounter with Dr. Zero, he simply raises his arm and a spray gun shoots this deadly stream of white acid right into that henchman's face. See that? Hmm. So where's the gun? Well, here. Put your arm in here. Cock your arm as if to shake hands. Ah, uh -huh. very good. And uh, where's the bird that's going to carry the secret microdot out of Dr. Zero's castle? <laughs> Take the handkerchief out of your pocket. There's something in there. <laughs> oh, it's a bird. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Very good. Friend. All right, Al. Now, we're going to shoot this thing first thing in the morning, and I want you to make sure that nobody touches these props. You got it. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. Great, huh? We look like a couple of Texas millionaires. Yeah, they're great, but where'd you... Wardrobe. I checked the schedule. They don't need them back till morning. Well, I hope you're right. That last scene with Roger won't exactly come off if he has to play in his underwear. Well, we'll have him back before the cock crows. There you go. Did you, did you say something? I didn't say anything. Yeah, you did. You said, who? No, I didn't. Are you complaining about something? Oh, no. I like being locked in a hot motor home. Oh, well, you better enjoy it. You won't like jail any better. Here, put this on. That. Why? You're coming with us to the casino. <laughs> Just try and make me. Sure, I'd be glad to help. Hey! I can dress myself. Oh, go! Where are you going with that car? It's all rigged for the big stunt tomorrow. It's a tricky road, boss. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. Well, I feel lucky tonight. How about 5,000 to start, huh? Yes, sir. There we go. Try this color here. Okay, let her spin. I'm here to win. Who's von set? Uh, don't that give you the shivers, darling? All right, 5,000 more on the other color. Let her go and pay the dough. Are you here alone, honey? Hey, what you see is what you get, imported prime Compton, California. You cute little bug, you. Rouge tres. Oh. Honey, what do you say we get out of here and go paint the town red, huh? Lady Delgado does not speak English, but I do. Why don't we go someplace and paint the town? Now you're talking. <laughs> Turbo, sorry, here. 
All right, Seavers, out. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be here. Spending money. What about Bird? I'm gonna kill him. Don't be an imbecile. No lowly pilot comes into a casino like this throwing around $5,000 bets. He does. Don't you realize what that means? The missing money. Of course. Then why draw attention to himself? He knows who we are. He knows what we do to people we don't like. Yes. He is obviously well informed. Which means he knows we're the only ones who can convert his recently stolen money into currency that can't be traced. What do you want me to do? Tell Mr. Seavers I get the message. Bring him to me. Boy, howdy, I don't think I could pick out the right color of a pair of lip sucking drinks. All right, Seavers, you made your point. Mind stepping this way? Hey, I'm not finished. Yes, you are. The Contessa wants to see you in private. Since you put it that way. Inspector Alessandro Porto. Mr. Munson, do you read me? Loud and clear. Good. Now get out of there. I can't leave now. Colton with the Contessa. Precisely why you must leave. They must think that he's alone and completely vulnerable. So either they can work a deal with him for the money, or try to kill him for it. Kill him? Nothing will happen. My men are scattered all around the grounds, waiting only for my command to move in. All right, we'll go outside. But we're not going to go far, not with Colt in there with those creeps. As you wish, but I assure you, he couldn't be safer if I were at his side. I'm in complete control. <laughs> Now by the car, for appearance of sake. What exactly is your game, Mr. Sievers? Well, it obviously isn't roulette. I thought I could establish a little credit. And your collateral? Got a brand new set of wheels. You'd be amazed at how expensive cars are down here. Well, judging by the rather large amount of money you're losing in my casino, you seem to have found something that may belong to me. <laughs> Listen, a lot of folks could take issue with that claim. What is your claim? Well, I'm not greedy. Uh, 20%. I will need time. Yeah, well, uh, I don't want to press you, but uh, I do have my eye on a brand new Learjet, which I just may use to fly out of here. Adios. Happy flying. <laughs> Sorry, my dance card is filled. Do anything I'll regret. Now, just to show you my heart is in the right spot, I'm not going to put you to all that trouble of throwing me out the window again. Not this time, I'd rather do it myself. Don't just stand there after him. He's got our money. so I'm back to driving. Cold, isn't this the area that we scouted the other day? That's right. Well, it goes nowhere. In fact, we're about out of road right now. Well, hang on to your seatbelt. I knew I should have stayed in school. Don't jump, kid. You could get killed. How in the hell did they do that? Terrible headache. <laughs> We're just about to the main floor. Cold, are we dead?
dead? Well, if we are, it's awful dark where we went. Yeah, we're gonna look in Sands' old room. This is breaking and entering, you know. Do you see me breaking anything? This room's already been searched. Yeah, but sometimes you overlook the obvious. Five million is pretty obvious. What if somebody comes? Don't tell them we're from housekeeping. What are you doing now? I'm looking for lumps. Look around the window ledges. I'm going to check the plumbing in the bathroom. Give me the key, dear. Well, you've got it. Frankly, Cynthia, a cottage in Brighton would have done quite nicely. All right, Alfred. I'm going to draw my bath. Dum, da, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum. Ah! Maintenance, just a slight bit of a shower. We have it all fixed now. Hi. Would you like those press? Uh, 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 oh, all right. Everything ship shape here? Seem to be plenty of hangers. Oh, well, good. Uh, if you need anything, don't hesitate to call. Have a fun Mardi Gras. Uh, we'll deliver the paper in the morning, okay? Hi. <laughs> Thanks for the change. I was beginning to feel like a head waiter. I stopped by the front desk on my way in and picked up Sands' bill. Well, that was very sporting of you, kid. No, I didn't pay it. I just bought a copy. I thought it might tell us something. Hmm. You can tell he was on an expense account. A bottle of that expensive champagne. Dome, what's his name? Uh, local calls, television set, television. They're extra. I didn't see a television set in his room. Well, he didn't pay his bill. Maybe they repossessed the TV. Maybe the desk can tell us where they keep them. Come on. Uh-uh. I am not going anywhere. I need a bath and a fresh change of clothes. I know my rights. Uh, all right, kid, you stay with her, but, but don't trust her. But wait a minute, Colt. I stopped by the set and brought along some extra artillery. No, no, I've had enough props. Just cross your fingers, I come back with some fresh spending money, huh? The rental television sets are moved from room to room as requested by our guests. According to my record, senor, this set is now in room 731. Thank you. Howard, could you do me a favor? Rub your back. Can you get my pink dress out of the closet? Sure. Why don't you any pink? Way over on the left. Marty? Marty! What are you doing? Marty, when I get my hands on you, open this door. Hello? TV repair? Uh, TV okay. No problem. Hey, well, I'm sorry, I still gotta check. I just take the calls. Look at that picture, it's terrible. Uh, no tune on! Tune on is right. Nani uh, no. I don't understand. Maria, Kura. By the way, no service charge for this call. Obrigado. Fill in the bag on the floor. Ah. How stupid of me not to look over my shoulder. Filling the bag. Oh, I was right about you. You're all in this together. Don't you move or I'll shoot. Is that your oh. <laughs> now go back and report this to your countess. Tell her I'm still willing to make a deal. But now I want 40%. Sorry. Okay. Colt. You saved my life. Yeah, well, anybody can make a mistake. It made me miscount again. Well, ole, ole. And the lady, you too. Here are your costumes. 
Costumes for what? We finished the movie tonight, if it's not too big of an inconvenience. No, I've had about all the fun I can stand. Uh, listen, I'd be happy to take some of that fun off your hands. Hello? Marnie, it's Charles Macklow. Mr. Macklow, where are you? In my office. Oh, you sound so close. Marnie, the police informed me that you'd left the country. Mr. Sands could have cleared me. Well, you'll never find him with all that money he stole. Oh, but I did find him. He's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. But this, uh, this friend of mine found your money for you. Well, that's good news. Uh, yeah, well, he has to pretend he's giving it to this countess lady so the police can catch her. Next time you see me, I'll probably have your money. That would be most welcome. Goodbye. Countess, we're in business. I suggest you make the deal with this Seavers. Wait for us, driver. Okay, Colt. Oh, uh, si, senor. Mr. Sievers, so nice to see you again. Well, the pleasure is all yours, Countess. Now, this Miss Greer. I believe you had the pleasure of wrecking her room. How do you do? Hi. Now, Miss Greer is a partner of Mr. Sands. I'm sure the confusion could have been eliminated if Mr. Sands had not departed so untimely. Do you kill everybody you do business with? Only the dispensable ones. Then let us conclude our business. I presume that is the money. Yes. <clears throat> Three million. I took my cut. I wanted to save you the trouble of counting. How thoughtful of you. Do you have another appointment? A friend promised to drop by. I don't want to miss him. If it was the police, I'm afraid you're in for a disappointment. Well, in that case, we'll be on our way. You see, I knew, I knew he wouldn't be any fun. What made you think you could help yourself to a two million dollars? You know, I said that very same thing to my partner. So we figured we'd cover ourselves with a little short note to the local police. Hmm. Uh, in case negotiations broke down. An old scheme not worthy of you. Oh, but very effective. I mean, you know, Inspector or Porto, he's been after you a long time. And speaking of time, if our other partner doesn't see us in ten minutes, he's going to drop the letter into the old mail box. Is that the one who drove you here? Well, he has been momentarily occupied. This time is short. Oh! As they say, time is money. Where the hell's a Porto? Get in the cab. Sears. He's supposed to have been here at 7 a.m. Oh, don't worry. We'll find him. You know, everybody's out looking for him. Coach, you won me over. I'm finally glad to drive like a madman. You still there? Oh! There's a bonus in it if you lose him. Mr. Macklow, what are you doing here? Protecting my investment. I believe this is mine. I was wondering when you'd show up. Well, that's it. He's through. Finished. Kaput. I'll never use him again. All right, where are we going? Private airport. About ten miles right out the main street. There's a parade up ahead. I know a shortcut. 
Shortcut. Oh, God, here comes the abominable snowman. Oh! No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Is any of this in the script? <laughs> no. Actually, it's pretty good. Let's shoot it. Roll up. Roll camera. <laughs> Superman 3? moment. Well, since Waterloo. Oh, Colt! You were magnificent! Yeah, I could have told him a lot safer to carry Travers' checks. 